Hi, Chef Chip Huckabee here from Indianapolis, and this is Sweet, Savory, and Smoked. This evening we're going to have a wonderful lineup for you. We're going to have some pomegranate glazed pork belly, collard greens, and cheese grit cakes. We're going to have an entree of smoked beef short rib with apple and brown sugar glazed Brussels sprouts. And then we're going to finish it off with some smoked cheddar, tricolored roasted potatoes. And for dessert, because we've got to have dessert, that's what makes it sweet, savory, and smoked, we're going to have a chocolate bread pudding cream brulee. I started on a bucket so I could reach the table with my dad. So I'm going to bring you into the kitchen so that maybe at this point you can get started and have some fun with me. It all started at home and then it became a reality. And since then it's been nothing but fun in the kitchen. So at this point, we're going to get ready to head off. I'm going to fire up the smoker, get the wood burning, and we're going to come back and we're going to cook some good food. All right, we're getting ready to produce our pomegranate glazed pork belly. We've got collard greens and cheese grits for that are gonna be fantastic. And it's a great start to any party that we've got going on. So we're gonna start with our pork belly. And it's a standard pork belly, raw. I haven't done anything with it yet. That's gonna be the magic in the smoker. So we're gonna rub it down here with a little bit of oil. And my classic steak blend here that we use, wonderful blend of peppers and, and garlic and kosher salt. Big fan of the kosher salt gets down into our meats when we smoke them. Get it rubbed in real tight. And at this point, the fun begins. We're gonna head off the smoker, 260 degrees. We're gonna throw a big piece of hickory in and a small piece of mesquite so I can get a little bit of cut action on it. And we're gonna have the smoker and we're gonna let these run for about six, seven hours in the smoker and get a good brown and glaze on top of them. But I'm not looking for burn ends. So we're gonna have a good time and it'll stay tender and juicy. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to start our collard greens and our cheese grits so we can get all this finished up together. We're gonna to start with the collard greens. We've got a skillet going here. We've got some bacon, applewood smoked, red onion slivers that we've got here. We'll get those in there to get those started. Firm believer, I know we got the pork fat in there, but I want a little bit of grease. I don't wanna char my onions too fast while we wait on that pork to break down for us. Gonna hit that with Chef Chips Trinity right here. A nice blend of salt, onion, garlic. Just a perfect enhancer for about anything you're working on. While this is sauteing down for our collard greens, we're gonna get started over here on our cheese grits. We're gonna first melt a little bit of butter down in there. A little bit of cream. the heavy cream, that's the good stuff. None of that half and half. We want that butter fat. And right here we're gonna add in another cup and a half of water to go with our two cups of grits. We're gonna make them good and cheesy today. We've got smoked blue cheese from Kentucky and we've got some cheese curds from Wisconsin that we're gonna burn into both of those for those grits. We're gonna let that come up to about a simmer, not quite a boil. Then we're gonna add those grits into that. We're gonna keep playing with these collard greens. Being a native Hoosier, I'm dead set that my greens need to have a little bit of sweet to them. So we're gonna add our collard greens in right now. Some of those in. This time I'm gonna add a little bit of our brisket blend. Nice kosher salt, cracked black pepper again. Stir down in here, start warming them up. For this set of greens, I'd actually already blanched and chopped the greens so that we wouldn't take quite as long today to get them cooked up. You could take them from raw. It doesn't do any problems with that. They cook just fine, just takes a little bit longer to break down that way. We're gonna stick back over, we're gonna check. We're starting to warm up over here. Our butter's almost melted. So we're gonna get ready to add our grits here in a minute. And 
and uh, get that going. We're gonna hit the Chef Chips Trinity in there as well. We use that on almost pretty much everything. That's a requirement on everything but ice cream. And now we're gonna reach over, steal some apple cider vinegar from the cupboard. We're gonna sizzle this up. It takes a little bit of that bite away that we're used to in our greens, our collard greens. That'll take that away. And like I said, we need to sweeten everything up here. So we're gonna pop a little brown sugar in there, dissolve that down. So you end up with a sweet collard grain that's gonna be a nice contrast to that smoked, smoked pork belly we've got outside. We're ready over here, we're gonna come in with our grits. Just stir those in and around. Just let those keep coming up. We're gonna turn that up a little bit now so we can get that now that we're in. All right, she's working. We'll get her boiling up here in two minutes. So as you can see, we've started to tighten up here with our grits and we're gonna to start to fold in some cheese. Right in here, we've got some fresh cheese curd, like I said, came from Wisconsin. And then I've got some smoked Kentucky blue cheese right here that we're gonna fold into that. We're gonna get that melted down in there. We're gonna take it from creamy to gooey. As that cheese warms up, she'll melt right down in there for you. All right. Collard greens have got a nice sugar smell to the room already. They're about ready as well. Collard greens are nice. You can see where they're starting to string a little bit. So we're just about there. And I've got hit. We've got our baking dish here. We're gonna make cheesecake or cheese grit cakes out of that. So we've made it nice and thick here. And now we're gonna take that over here, pour that right into our greased bakery dish. We're gonna spread this out. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna get it in the refrigerator. We're gonna let it set up. It's something you can do the day before, two days before. Keep it in there, get it ready. And you end up with wonderful pan of your grits. Cheese grits already laid out, flattened out. So we're ready to make grit cakes. Set this out of the way for now. All right, we're gonna move on now with that pork belly. It's come out of the smoker, been in there about six to seven hours. It's, we got our crust. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna grab a baking dish. And we're gonna make a pomegranate glaze. Sweet and a wonderful color. Got that red in it. So we're gonna take the pomegranate juice. We're gonna take our brown sugar. And there's no real good way to do this without getting dirty. So we're gonna put our fingers and hands right down in there. We're gonna dissolve all that brown sugar. Get it all melted down in there and you get it to a nice thick consistency. And don't worry if that brown sugar sets at the bottom because you've prepped it up earlier in the day. Doesn't hurt anything, just stir it back up to the top. And you're gonna get this nice glaze and we're gonna rub this all over our pork belly. And it's gonna add sugar to go with that pepper and heat from the rub and against the smoke. And like I said, there's not a good clean way to do this if you wanna get it all the way coat it on there nice and thick. And then we're gonna to go to the oven. And now at 350 degrees, we're gonna leave that in the oven for about 15 minutes. We're gonna let that brown up, get a nice crust on it, darken up a little bit, really bring out the sweetness and the deep, rich flavor of that pomegranate. And while that's going on, I've got a skillet over here. We've been getting warm. We've got our collard greens just sitting off the side there, staying nice and warm for us. And we're gonna make some grit cakes. You can use cookie cutters and make pretty designs, those sorts of things. We're gonna go with squares today. And obviously we've got a lot here. And that's because we're gonna have a big party later today. We're gonna go right into the skillet. All right, we've got those in that skillet. We're gonna brown up that first side. Just a little light brown there. See that? It's starting to coat the bottom. Get a little brown from the cheese. Get those all browned up here for us. While these are browning, we've got our pork belly that we've smoked. 
and then we've turned around and brown sugar glazed it with the pomegranate glaze. It's in the oven. We've got our collard greens. And uh, when we come right back, we're going to turn right around and we're going to build this appetizer for you guys to have a bite. So we've made all our parts. Now we're going to make the masterpiece. We're going to take our grit cake right here. We're going to pile it right here just off the side of center. We're going to bring that pork belly that we've smoked and then browned with the pomegranate glaze here. We're going to strip it down. We'll get a cut here off the side so you can see that. And we're going to get, cut us a couple strips. We're going to fan those out right here over the top of those grits. Cakes just like so. Put that third piece right there as well. And then we've got our sweet collard greens. Put them right here. We've got pomegranate glazed pork belly, cheese grits, and collard greens. All right, we're ready for the entree. And today we're gonna do smoked short ribs. We're gonna have smoked cheddar roasted potatoes. And we're gonna have some sweet collard greens to go with that. So we're gonna start with our USDA choice boneless beef short rib. We're going back to our blends of spices. This is our Rocky Mountain blend. It's got pepper, coffee, chocolate, and of course peppers and onions. And we're gonna put this right on there and we're gonna give it a nice hearty heavy dry rub. Again, the best part of smoking is getting your hands dirty, being part of it, and then going to bed in the middle of the night and smelling the smoke still stuck all over those clothes you get addicted to it, can't get away from it. But we rub it all down and now we're gonna to go to the smoker. Um, again, 260 degrees. We're gonna put it in there with a full piece of hickory and we're gonna let it run for approximately four hours, four, four and a half hours, just enough that it's gonna break all those tendons inside that and make this just tender as can be, fork tender, like pot roast. So we're gonna head off the smoker with that. All right, while we're waiting to get that meat out of the smoker, make sure it's good and tender. We're gonna work on the components that are gonna go with that short rib. So we've got some tricolored potatoes that we're gonna turn into a smoked cheddar potato bake. And we've got some wonderful Brussels sprouts here that we're gonna candy up with some Fuji apples. So we're gonna get started here. Okay, we're gonna start these Brussels sprouts. We're gonna go right over here in that skillet. We've got some of our pork belly from earlier today. We've got some slivered white onions. We're gonna let that pork belly fat break down. We're gonna come back with our brisket blend, pepper and kosher salt, and a little bit of our Calgary rub. So we got these working right here for us. Where that's going, we're gonna start our cheddar, smoked cheddar cheese sauce for those potatoes. Go right here. And then we've got our Wisconsin cheese curds again. And we've got a smoked cheddar cheese, white cheddar. Down in there. Our cheese curds. We're just gonna dump these in. We're gonna whisk them around, break those down, and tighten this up just a little bit. Just before she's tight, we'll fold in a little bit of Chef Chips Trinity to give that little bit of enhancement, pull a little more of that smoke flavor out of that smoked cheddar for us. While that's working on, I'm gonna work on these potatoes here. We've got the tricolored potatoes. We're gonna just half them up today. Easy, peasy, but simple and tasty. You're welcome to use any potatoes you want. The mini tricolors, they'll smoke a little bit stronger for you. Carry a little more flavor into that flesh of the potato. It's not as stiff. The starch absorbs a little bit better for us than with the russets and the bigger size red and gold Yukon potatoes as well. So we've gotten into this portion here, the smoked cheddar cheese potatoes. We got to cooking this out of necessity. Everybody wanted a smoked side dish. Smoked veggies were pretty easy. We decided we wanted something different than just a standard smoked baked potato 
or smoked red skin potato. I'm gonna sneak over here from the cupboard, steal me a little oil here. Get a little brisket blend. And then we've got our signature barbecue rub. We're gonna stir those around, toss them up. We're gonna put them in a baking dish. So we've got our potatoes in the smoker, our short ribs in the smoker finishing up. We've got our cheddar, smoked cheddar cheese sauces right here. We're going to uh, work on these Brussels sprouts a little bit. We've got our sauteed pork belly, sauteed onions. We're gonna put our Brussels sprouts in. And again, come back with a little more of Chef Chip's Trinity. So we work on pulling all that flavor out of those. Get that candy in there. While that's working, I've got some smoked potatoes here already that we didn't wanna make you wait for. We're gonna take our smoked cheddar cheese sauce right here. We're gonna fold those smoked potatoes in there. You can see all that color. So we've got those smoked potatoes. Now that we've slid into that cheese sauce, we'll slide some of this up out of our way there so we got plenty of room here and a clean counter. Fold all those potatoes right into that smoked cheddar cheese sauce. And we're gonna go right into a baking dish. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put it in our oven behind us, 350 degrees. We're gonna let that brown up on top and get a nice good golden color on that for us. Now we're gonna come back and we're gonna play with these dandies here. Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite entrees, or side dishes for my entrees. And I was uh, brought up to eat them bitter by my father. And my mother wouldn't eat them at all. So we've turned around and had to find a way to get mom to eat these Brussels sprouts. So we went back to the basics. We got us some nice apples right here that we're gonna fold in. And I knew mama was a sucker for candy. So we're going back to the tried and true, just like our collard greens. I'm gonna pull this apple cider vinegar back out of the cupboard and pop that in there. We're gonna steam them for a minute or simmer them. And we're gonna turn right around, add some brown sugar in. And we're gonna candy these little boogers. And this is the only Brussels sprouts my mother's ever been willing to eat. So we've got that working for us right here. We'll get it go, we'll let it simmer up. As it simmers with that candy, she'll start to darken for us. We'll get a good rich color. And from there, we're gonna get ready to plate dinner. We've got dinner, we're ready to roll. We're gonna get some food on this plate. Looks awful empty. So we're gonna pull our short rib that we've smoked. Got a nice encrustation on it. We're gonna sliver up our pork or our beef rib here. Sliver down, we've let it rest for a little while. We've got a beautiful pink smoke ring through and through. So we're gonna come right around here. We're gonna roll that. We've got our tri-colored smoked cheddar potatoes and that smoked cheddar cheese sauce. We're gonna pile in right here. We've got our sweet Brussels sprouts with apples for mama, because everybody's gotta take care of mama. We're gonna take that sweet glaze from the bottom of those Brussels sprouts and that's what we're gonna pour right back over the top so that we get a little bit of that sweet and that vinegar bite, just a nice little jus almost with from the apples to go right over the top of our Brussels sprouts. And with that, we have created dinner. All right, well we've got appetizer, we've got dinner, so we have to have dessert. That requires sweets. And if we're gonna make sure mama's happy, we gotta make sure the wife is happy, so we're gonna have chocolate too. So we're gonna start, we're gonna make a bread pudding. We're gonna make a chocolate bread pudding, creme brulee. So we're gonna make a bread pudding, we're gonna fold the chocolate chips in, and then we're gonna put a wonderful creme brulee sugar top right on the top as it's just about finished in the oven. Crisp it up, and then we'll be able to make everybody happy and send everybody home from dinner tonight with a full tummy. So we're gonna start with our eggs. We're gonna get three eggs in there. 
We've got our heavy cream. Again, the, the 40% the heavier fat. It's gonna allow us to get a thicker cream blend. I've got granulated sugar, because nobody wants a flat bread pudding. Gonna give it a little bit of cinnamon. And as much as I'd enjoy a little whiskey, we're gonna just stick with vanilla inside that. We'll save the whiskey bread pudding for another day. I'm gonna whisk that all up. That 40% fat, you've got a nice thick cream. Set that off to the side. We're gonna take our bread. We're gonna chop it up right now. I like to use the Texas toast only when I'm out of Danish or donuts. Danish or donuts still make the breast bread pudding, but I ate all mine this morning, so we're stuck with Texas toast. So we're gonna take and chunk that up. Put that right in there, and we're just gonna fold all that up in there. We're gonna make sure it gets good and wet. It's gonna start to absorb all that cream and sugar. Now we're gonna take, fold in our chocolate. We're gonna take our dishes. When you're doing your bread pudding, when you're doing the brulee version, try to use a lower rim so that it'll get a nice puff up. And then when you brown, you're gonna get a better brown and crisp out of that cream brulee sugar. We're just gonna stuff that down in there. And we're gonna pack it tight and level because we want it to pop. We want a little jump in it so that it crowns out gives us that really good look and we'll get a nice brown on top by doing so as well. we'll pop that in there. We've got a little extra cream at the bottom and of course chocolate chips. We're gonna fold those right in on top and then we're gonna take these to the oven, 350 degrees. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. They're gonna puff up. We're gonna get a nice brown on them. Once they've got that brown coat, we're gonna sneak in with our cream brulee sugar, which is a wonderful blend, equal parts granulated and brown sugar. That's gonna give you that crisp that you're used to when you eat your cream brulees when you're out. So we'll get these in the oven, and then we can have dessert. All right, once we get those out of the oven, we've had that sugar go on top, and as you can see, we've got a wonderful brown. They've puffed up a little bit. We've gotten that brown all around, and our sugar's crystallized. So when you bite through there, you're gonna get that crunch, and you're gonna get the sweetness of the sugar and the chocolate, and it's gonna be a wonderful dinner. Only thing missing at this point is a wonderful cup of coffee. I wanna thank you for joining me for dinner this evening. I've enjoyed my pomegranate glazed pork belly, collard greens and cheese grits. I enjoyed the smoked beef short ribs. Always love mama's candied apple Brussels sprouts, and we got a little bit of cheddar smoked potatoes, can't go wrong with those. And then for dessert, we had a little bit of chocolate and sweet and that chocolate bread pudding cream brulee. At this point, I'm getting ready to go to the surf. We're gonna get away from the turf. So join me next time. We're gonna have some sea bass and some shrimp. We're gonna have a good old time, maybe a little cheesecake. And when you come back, we'll have a good old time. Make sure you check me out at smokehousecateringco.com.